maths at STEMIS uh, is far different from other schools in a view that it actually makes the students more involved in the real life mathematical problems than just abstract ones and that's how they are able to uh, efficiently solve them out rather than just seeing all those numbers and equations. We just don't teach in board and stuffs. We also use visual and concrete aid which helps the students remember the concept very easily and understand it. All of the students find maths easier, maths interesting because of the way we teach, because of the curriculum that we follow. We also arrange intervention classes after school for the struggling students. We give them extra time and effort so that they can improve on that specific lesson or chapter. Up to year six we follow Singapore maths and from year seven we start Pearson at Excel. One thing uh, different about Singapore maths is that before starting a lesson we we make the students do activities using various kind of materials. We use CPM method. The first, when we teach students, we do not directly go to signs and numbers, which is usually scary for students. Whenever we start a lesson, we, we first what we do, we take concrete stuff like uh, fruits or anything. We just take and first show the students and explain the topic. After that, we show pictures regarding that topic and uh, we, uh, we make the students understand the topic using pictures and at the end we use the numbers to understand so it's much easier for the kids to understand if we go step by step we also let them do activities for example we do a chapter shape we make the students cut out the shapes and they can form a circle after that what they do we play like a game it's easier for the students if they play a game we all know students love games so if we make it fun and make them play the game they understand the concepts much more we also do experiments like capacity we make the students take the take different different objects like glasses jugs and stuff they can pour water and know what is capacity like how much the glass can hold or the jug can hold so like this we make the students understand the concept instead of just making them memorize it or just explain it we also celebrate some other mathematical days for example we have celebrated pi day and every student participated and they found it very interesting because uh, pi is a number which never ends so they found it very interesting they memorized the uh, the value of pi and we saw uh, how many digits they can memorize. Math show is a competition for the students. It's a day where we celebrate math. So we did a pop quiz, a relay race, a number line and many other games to make it fun for the students. So we, uh, we cut out papers and wrote numbers and made a number line. The students were given two numbers to add and they had to jump to the solution. For example, two plus three is five. So they had to jump to the number five. We had another activities for year one students where the numbers were written in a flashcard and they had to arrange the numbers from one to 30. We also had math riddles that was not like regular math problems. It was more twisted. All kind of students, even the weak one and even the strong one, all of the students find maths easier, maths interesting because of these shows because of the way we teach, because of the curriculum that we follow. The students who are struggling the most are also given effort and individual effort after the school so that they are able to improve themselves, develop themselves. Here at STEMIS, we don't just focus on the good students, but we also focus on the students who are struggling a bit. For example, there was a student who was struggling in division and when we gave, when we gave him extra classes in intervention, he improved a lot. We have Nora, she knew uh, the students are very good at maths. They have solved six A books in just three months or something. And what we did for them, that we started six B for them. Because as they had finished six A already, and they have finished textbook, also workbook. And so we suggested that they start the next level maths. My favorite student is from my class, Wadi. He's really good in maths and whatever task I give him, he finishes in like very quickly. So there are two students, Ishmam and Arj, 
uh, who are going to uh, sit for uh, O level and there's this one whole like uh, three triangles clustered together to find one angle and even I got confused how to do it but uh, Ishwam was really smart and what I taught him on the previous class he used that one and uh, he, he used that strategy on the next class and solved it out and me and I we were like shocked oh Ishwam you were so clever <laughs> So yeah, that, that was this one memory I find like, yes, my students are far away ahead from me. That's, that's kind of a proud moment. They're using my strategy and solving it out before even me. Some of my students like Mahira, they're very good. They're very good and they enjoy it. Like they, they wait for math class to start so that they have to solve questions and stuff. Even I have so many students like Famin, Rauda, Karimul, Ian, Zabir. All these, they're very good at math and they bring questions for me, like they make videos and they come and ask me, like, Miss, can you do this? And then they wait for me to ask them to, like the videos and stuff. Yeah, so it's like in home, they make, they sit, they, they try making questions by themselves. Like, instead of just doing the questions in the book, they try to make, they see stuff and they make questions. Like if their parents are bringing uh, food, they go and ask, how much is it? And then they try to understand like what was the total cost. Then they come and say me the real life examples that we did this yesterday. My dad bought this many apples, and it costed this much. I ate this many. So how much is how much do I have left? Like they ask me the questions then, and I like very good. When they're able to complete the maths, there's a sense of accomplishment that they feel always that I am able to complete the problem. That's how they are able to build the overall problem solving skills. So when they are um, mature enough, they are not only able to solve the mathematical problems, but also real life problems as well.